Throughout the concentration camp system during the Second World War, the SS constantly experimented with the most efficient way of killing as many people as possible. It was within the camps that millions of people never made it out alive, and the violence and brutality of guards haunted many that survived until the day they actually died. There were some camps where prisoners were not even admitted to work, and were just exterminated as soon as they got there, with the gas chambers being the most common method of killing inside of these camps. But there was a predecessor to the gas chamber, which was used to execute and kill many thousands of people. But what is the story of the gas van? Join us today as we find out, and to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. The Nazis used the gas van to murder thousands of people in Germany, and occupied lands across the Second World War. The Technical Institute for the Detection of Crime had been ordered to find a method of mass killing, and they decided to try and use vans to gas victims using carbon monoxide. This was first used in October 1939, with the Nazis using the vans to kill prisoners in Fort Severn near to Posen. The first victims were Polish and Jewish prisoners, who had come from institutions for the mentally ill, and then the gas vans were used in different mental hospitals across Poland to kill the inmates. The vans were built as a method of trying to make the killings quicker, and instead of transporting people to be killed inside of gas chambers, at camps and sites such as Hartheim Castle, the plan was for the execution chamber to be taken to the victims. They worked in the same manner as ordinary gas chambers, as a rubber hose ran through the back of the van, and then the driver would release pure carbon monoxide from the steel cylinders into the airtight back of the van. To the ordinary person passing by, the vans looked like normal delivery wagons, but they were incredibly deadly and sinister weapons used by the Nazis for mass murder. Some of them were labelled to be inconspicuous. For example, some carried the advertisement of Kaiser's Café Geschaft, meaning the Kaiser's Coffee Shop. They were referred to as the Special Vans, or Delousing Vans, and the SS detachment who used them would arrive at different hospitals and then collect the patients. The patients were then loaded into the vans, and whilst they were driving away, the gas would then be administered. It was a method of mass killing, as over 1,500 ill people from the Soldau concentration camp were killed using the vans. But it was Heinrich Himmler, the head of the SS, who had ordered the Nazis and SS to develop more convenient and efficient methods of killing. In August 1941, he saw a mass shooting and execution of Jews in Minsk, and after watching this he threw up and vomited. He then decided to ask his men to find other ways of killing that were less stressful for the killers, and the gas van was settled on. At Helm, though extermination camp, gas vans were used en masse and in abundance until the gas chambers were built there, and a large number of people were killed by them. The Opel Blitzwagen was one of these used, and another was a larger one, called the Sauerwagen. The victims inside these would be killed and poisoned by the carbon monoxide, and then they would be taken to fresh pits to be buried, and many were simply just thrown at the side of the road or down ravines, with their bodies dumped. But the gas van was considered by the SS standards as a slow method of killing, as a number of times the guards would open the vans to see some people still alive, and some took around 20 minutes to die. It was also not too quiet, and many drivers who drove past or nearby could hear the screams of the victims, and this was considered harrowing. Also the SS were concerned that they wanted to find a larger place to conduct the gassings, as they could only fit a small number of people inside the back of the van. The main producer of the gas van was Gauchat, Farzug Verka, and these produced most of the execution devices, but at the end of the Second World War, there was not one which could be found, with them being destroyed. It is not known the exact number of people killed by the gas vans, but it's almost dozens of thousands. It was not an execution method which was used just by the Nazis, as it had been previously devised by the Soviets. During the Great Purge in the Soviet Union, an NKVD officer modified a van to gas prisoners. This man, Isaj de Berg, was later executed and purged himself, but its use in the Third Reich is more known and well documented. The Nazis would later use a gas van and then take the same principles in this method of killing and then create static gas chambers inside of concentration camps. Some of these were created at stops on the train lines and these became known as extermination camps, where thousands of people were being offloaded from the trains and then they were killed within minutes of arriving. But the gas vans were a method of execution where thousands of people were killed after being locked in the back of a truck. It was driven to many different institutions and hospitals around Germany and the occupied lands, within minutes of people being loaded into the back, 
and being tricked that they were going to be moved to a different site. They were killed when the driver turned on the gas. It was a sinister and deceptive method of killing, and one which was incredibly harrowing and sick. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.